everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, just remember if any of the exercises are painful, then maybe don't do them or just ease off them a little bit. So you need your yoga mat uh, and possibly your yoga brick or a nice fat book. Thin rolled up towel or small little cushion to go underneath your head if you need one. So starting off up in standing, feet pointing towards the front. Just maybe lift the toes off once and place them back down again. Take the heels off, place them back down. So you're really feeling the bottom of your feet on the ground. Knees just relaxed. Lengthen up through the hips a bit. Open out through the shoulders. Gently tuck in that chin. Imagine that balloon from the back of your head taking you up towards the ceiling. Maybe give your balloon a colour. That makes it real. Gives the brain a little bit more to focus on. So mine's a nice big purple balloon, taking the back of my head towards the roof. Gently rolling the shoulders going backwards. So shrugging up right round back and down. As you do that, keep the balloon on the back of your head so the neck doesn't come forwards as the shoulders go back. Nice and smooth, just getting the shoulder blades moving over the ribs at the back. Okay, great. Little fingers on the side seam of your trousers, thumbs pointing up, float the arms up, either just to shoulder height or all the way up towards the sky. And then lengthening back down again. So weight staying evenly on both feet, float the arms up. Imagine three or four helium balloons now tied onto your fingers, just letting the arms float up and then releasing back down again. Quick scan down through the rest of your body. Buttocks are just staying relaxed. You're feeling your feet on the floor. You've got your heels down, base of the little toe down, base of the big toe down. Arms just floating out to the side. Maybe the next couple just going forward and up with the arms. See if you can feel anything going on through the tummy as you do that. Like it's just gently drawing in, switching on. And just one more of those. Great, okay. Come down and then maybe find your hip bones in the front. Come down just a couple of inches so you're on that sort of crease at the top of your leg, that sort of groin line. Just do a couple of knee bending up towards your chest. So you're just feeling where the hip joint is, both sides. Just bending up, so fingers digging in there. Okay, so feet just about hip width apart, even weight through the feet. We're just going to do a little hip bend, so you're just dropping down and pressing back up. Dropping down, pressing back up, so you're not Going all the way down into a squat, you're just getting the hips to bend and the knees to bend. Bottom doesn't go miles out behind you. So your body is actually staying pretty well vertical. Drop down, press into your feet, back up. Dropping down, press into the feet, back up. That's good. Watch the toes aren't lifting. Just going a couple more. So you're just getting that idea of bending the hips. So when you're down there, it should be just a nice sort of springy position. Maybe go down. Just think of a big car spring. You're just gently bouncing like that. And coming back up. And one more, just dropping down. And back up. Good, good. A little bit of balancing. So if your balance isn't great, stand near something to put a finger on. Uh, we're going to do heaven and earth. So press one hand right up towards heaven, press down with the other one into the earth, and you're gonna bring one knee up in front. Hold there, and come down. Switch legs. So feel the bottom of that foot on the ground, fold the other knee up. Hold there, and come down. And on the other side. Down. 
one more on the other leg. Great, great. Pop that down, switch the arms over. So you're pressing right up. Imagine a baseball or something on your hand, pushing that towards the ceiling. Pushing the spring down into the floor. Roll the knee up. And pop it down. And on the other side, fold up. And down. On the first leg. On the move a bit. And down. And on the other leg. Remember, it doesn't matter if you wobble. You're just training your balance mechanisms to wake themselves up a little bit. Great. Okay. Bring the arms down, bring the leg down. Uh, lie yourself down on the mat, just in the relaxation position. So you're coming down to the ground. Get rid of that moment. So, lying on your back. Knees bent, feet flat. Just think of letting your back relax down into the floor a little bit. Maybe shuffle your feet just to the edge of the mat. So hopefully you're lying in the middle. If you're not, try and get into the middle. So feet resting on the edge of the mat and let the knees just drop in together. Think of letting your back relax down into the floor. Gentle breathing into the tummy. So as you breathe in, the tummy just comes up. As you breathe out, the tummy goes down. So not a massive breath. It's not, not a forced breath, especially the out breath. The out breath is just that elastic recoil through the tissues. Just lets the air go out by itself. That's good. Okay, shuffle the feet back in so that they're in line with your sitting bones. Feet fairly close to your bottom. Arms just on the mat beside you. We're going to do a spine curl. So press into your feet, peel your back up off the floor. And roll back down. Remember if you're really stiff, so if it's first thing in the morning or if you haven't done much yet today, you could just start off just working into that a little bit. Just going a couple of vertebra and releasing, and then maybe three vertebra and releasing until you're coming all the way up. So you're pressing into your feet, think of using your buttock muscles as you come up. If you give them a prod when you're at the top, they should be all nice and firm. They're all squishy, they're probably not doing what they should be doing. So just curling up, breath at the top. Roll back down again. Good. Even weight through the feet. Those who want to make it harder, you could curl up. Hips level, thighs level, knees level, straighten one leg. Fold it back down. Keep the bottom up. Straighten the other leg, fold it back down, roll all the way down. It's quite a strong exercise. If your back's feeling a bit irritable, just stick with the curling up. Otherwise, curl up. Imagine you've got that stick, bamboo or something from the garden, across your hip bones. That's staying completely parallel to the floor as you straighten out the lower leg. So it's just, you're just straightening your shin, if you like. Foot going up towards the roof. The leg doesn't leap up towards the ceiling. One on each leg, roll back down again. And going on the other side, curl up, straighten one, fold it down, straighten the other one, and down, roll all the way down. And one more, curling up. Try and alternate which leg you straighten first. Lovely. Roll right down. Knees up towards your chest, ankles crossed, hold the knees, gentle, gentle knee rocking. So just rocking the knees up towards your chest. A 
that's great. Keep hold of one knee, maybe just hold in front of your shin. If you've got sore knees, you could hold behind the thigh. So pull that one right in close to your chest, slide the other leg right down flat. Circle your feet and ankles, one going clockwise, one going anti-clockwise. So big circles, foot and ankle. Don't worry about the clicking. So one circling clockwise, one anti-clockwise. Think of drawing a big circle with your big toe. Great. Okay, try and remember which foot is doing what. Draw the other leg up. Grab a hold. Run just below the knee. Pull that close to your chest. Slide the other leg down. Circle the feet the other way. So the one that was going clockwise, send it anti-clockwise. The one anti-clockwise, send it clockwise. Nice big circles. That's great. Okay, pop both feet back down again. Knees bent. A little bit of a hollow through your lower back. Neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. So, slide one leg down the mat. Toes up towards you. Float it up towards the ceiling. Heel back down. Draw that leg back in again. So if you can, keep going with the same leg. So you slide down the mat, toes up towards you. You could slightly turn that foot out, float the leg up, lower it down, slide back in again. Slide down, toes up, foot slightly turning out, float the leg up. You could just to sort of imagine a sort of hammock or a sling underneath your thigh, and that's just lifting the leg up. So you're wanting to get the whole leg muscles involved, not just the front of the thigh muscles. A little bit of a hollow staying in your lower back. Maybe just one more. Make sure the knee is really going straight. Switch legs. So slide the leg down, pelvis staying level, toes up towards you, foot turning out, float it up. Lower back down again, slide back in again. Slide down, toes up, float the leg up. So you're imagining that hammock underneath the back of the thigh, just helping to get that leg off the floor. Pelvis staying level, so think of anchoring the back of your pelvis down onto the mat. Neck and shoulders, they're staying nice and quiet. One more on that leg. Fantastic. Okay, put your left ankle onto your right knee. Let the left knee flop out. If you can, grab behind your thigh on the right leg, pull that in towards you. So you can lift your head off the floor if you want to, to grab it. If you can't reach, you could um, pop a band or a towel or a tie in behind the thigh and use that just to pull up towards you. So you should be getting a buttock stretch on that left leg. Chin tucking in, just gently straighten out the right and fold it down. And again, straighten out the right, toes up, and come down. And again, straighten up the right, and come down. Good, good. Pop that down. Right ankle onto the left knee. Let the right leg flop out a bit. If you can, grab behind the thigh on the left leg. Head back down again, tuck in the chin. Could gently, gently sort of rock from side to side. Should be a stretch deep in your right buttock. And could 
try just gently straightening out the left leg and fold it down and again straighten out there's a nice noisy bumblebee around somewhere more. That's good. Okay. Pop the leg down, uncross the other leg and maybe come over onto all fours, onto hands and knees. So, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So you're making a nice rectangle with your arms body, thighs, chin tucking in, just a little bit of um, a cat stretch, so tuck in the chin, arch your back up towards the ceiling, curl your head down, look at your knees, and then think of drawing a line with your nose along the mat, up the wall in front, and again coming down the wall, along the floor to your knees, and going back the other way. And just coming back into the middle. So back of the neck nice and long. A little bit of a hollow through your lower back. Uh, imagine that book balancing on your bottom. Slide one leg back, float it up. Those who want to, take the diagonal arm out in front. Hold there. The tummy drawing away from the floor, out and hold, and come back down again. Slide the leg back, float it up. So your bottom is staying level. Imagine that book, not a nice cup of coffee sitting on your bottom. Diagonal arm, thumb up. Don't worry how high that arm's going, just floating it out in front. And come down. Other side, leg back, float it up. Maybe this time take that leg in a couple of little circles. Going one way, and then the other way. Chin staying tucked in, keep that finger really pressing the floor away from you. Switch legs, slide the leg back, Float it up. Watch that the other hip doesn't move out to the side. So you're keeping your hip directly over the knee. Circling going round one way. Circling going round the other way. Lovely. That's good. Come down. Knees apart, sort of edge of the mat, if you're on a sort of normal size yoga mat, big toes together, take the bottom right back to your heels. Creep your arms out in front, drop your head, drop your chest down towards the ground. Breathe into the back of the ribs. If there's any way of feeling tight or sort of stuck, just see if you can think of letting go in that area. You can let your bottom drop down a little bit more. Let the head go a little bit more. Breathe into the back of the ribs. Okay, and then come down onto your tummy. Hands together underneath your forehead. Flatten right down into the mat. Chin tucked in. Shoulders nice and soft, float one leg off the floor and just circling it here. So again, if you give your bottom a prod, it should be really nice and firm. Leg circling one way, leg circling the other way. And rest down, swap legs. So float the leg up. So the other leg is staying relaxed. See if you can get the toes right down flat rather than toes tucked underneath. Just nice circles. 
Keep breathing, circling the other way. Imagine a little ice cube between your lower tummy and the mat. Just gently scooping away from that. Okay, rest both legs down, clench your bottom, little kicks up and down, like the swimming crawl. So one up, one down, your knees should just be coming off the floor. Bottom squeezing, legs straight. Tummy scooped up away from the mat, lower tummy, below your belly button. Lovely. Rest the legs down. Just gently wriggle your bottom from side to side. So just a little shuffle from side to side. Legs apart a little bit. Hands on the mat. Chin tucking in. Press up into a little yoga cobra. And come down again. And again. Gently pressing up. Drop the shoulders, back of the neck, staying long. Just getting that nice backwards arch through your back. And just one more of those. And then turn back onto your back. So lying on your back, knees bent, a little bit of a hollow through your lower back. Just remind yourself again where the hip joint is. So just bring one knee up towards your chest, finger just tucked in the top of the groin, top of the leg there on that sort of groin crease. So Start off, just bring one leg up, float it up and pop it down. And on the other side, float the leg up, place it down. Those wanting to make it harder, float the leg up. You could just slightly flatten your lower back into the mat, float the second leg up, first one down, second one down. Imagine you've got a couple of rollos between your back and the floor. You're just gently pressing them into the mat, but not so much that you're going to squash them. One leg up, second leg up, first leg down, second leg down. Alternating which leg comes off the floor first. Make it a little bit harder, take both arms up towards the sky. One leg up, second leg up, first leg down. Second leg down, first leg up. Nice and smooth as that second one comes off the floor. Again, a little bit harder. Float one up, second one up. One arm out to the side, bring it up. Other one out the other side. Back up, first leg down, second leg down. One more, first leg up. Second leg up, one arm out, back up, other one out, back up. Lovely, bring both knees to your chest, cross the ankles, hold on to the knees. Gentle, gentle knee rocking up towards your chest. See if you can get a nice rhythm. Lovely. Okie doke. And then either turn onto your side, come up into sitting, or hold behind the thigh, tuck in the chin, gently roll up. Oh, we'll just do a twisting stretch. If you've got a new hip in there, maybe just keep your knees together and twist. Otherwise, uh, left leg down straight, cross the right leg over. Hold onto your shin, pull yourself up nice and tall. You can stick with that. Or keep hold of that right leg, right hand behind you, turn and look over the right shoulder. So 
nice twist stretch there. Okay, coming back to the middle, uncross the legs. So right leg straight, cross the left over. Hold on to your shin, pull yourself up a little bit straighter. Keep hold of that left shin with your right hand, left hand behind you, turn and look over the left shoulder at the back wall. Next out breath, you could see if you could just move into that stretch a little bit further. Good, come back into the middle. Uh, come slowly back up into standing. So standing nice and tall, feet about hip width apart. If you bring both arms up in front. Twisting round as if you're reaching for something behind you. So reaching right the way around and coming back to the front and going on the other side. So one arm staying out in front, other one going behind you. Hopefully you've got a bit more room than me here. Yeah. So see if you can feel anything going on through your feet as you turn. You want that turning to involve the whole body, not just the spine. Great, okay, bring the arms down, legs a little bit wider apart, so probably about as wide apart as your yoga mat is wide. Turn your right foot so it's pointing forwards, left foot pointing straight ahead, arms reaching out to the sides, Stretch your right fingers to the wall, left arm, cartwheels right up and over, right hand down onto your thigh. See if you can keep going with that left arm, coming right up towards your ear, bottom staying tucked in. So nice stretch down the left hand side. And come back up, arms out to the sides. So right foot's going to point forwards, left foot's turning to the left, fingers pointing out, reach your fingers over to the left to start with, left hand down onto the thigh or to the knee, right arm cartwheeling right the way up and over, all the way to your ear if you can, bottom staying tucked in. Breathe into the side of the ribs. That's great. Come all the way back up. Draw the legs back in. Couple of roll downs. Chin on your chest, scoop in the tummy, roll down as if you're gonna to touch your toes. Let the knees bend slightly. Draw in tummy again as you unfold all the way back up. Head coming up last. And again, chin down, rolling down. Scoop in, unfold right the way back up. Slide the shoulders up and let them drop. And again, sliding up. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next week, hopefully. Bye.